Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back to Kingmaker version 2. I was watching the um, old videos I did, like last year, before I had to move. And um, I thought, right, it'd be a good time to go into like um, Barn Hole's lot after the um, season of the blooms finished. Let's look what happens when I try to load. I get that. And that's the same for anything I try to load. I tried all of them. So that one is dead. So, let's start again. I was playing on Challenger, wasn't I, last time? Normal, yeah. Okay. This time I'm going to play as a kineticist. Ooh. I think it was that one I was going to go for. Yeah, I go for a human, even though it's not. It's a female body type though, so I'll do that and just randomize all this. Don't care. Oh my god. Maybe I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Right, kineticist. Just a basic kineticist. Um, Scup of that. Take this up to 17. This up to 16. Scup of that. And 16. Yeah, that's going to be for persuasion because of the main character. Con is like the main stat for them, but dexterity is for dodging. And persuasion and perception. Mostly persuasion. Oh, racial bonus. Dexterity, please. Armor class. Um, two extra feats as a human. So point blank and precise shot. And I'll take fire and extended range. Oh, I should go through them. Point blank shot. You get plus one bonus on attack and damage rolls with ranged weapons at ranges of up to 30 feet. Now, the kinetic blast is a ranged weapon. Now, it's not really a weapon because the kinetic blade doesn't really count as a blade. It's weird. And precise shot. You can shoot or throw ranged weapons at an opponent engaged in melee without taking the standard minus four penalty on your attack roll. At low levels, that's massive. That's like 25% extra chance to hit. Or 20%. Fire. Kineticists who focus on element of fire are called pyrokineticists. Pyrokineticists wield elemental fire as a potent weapon and they possess a powerful offense. And we've got these different infusions you can have to like adapt to this. I'm going for extended range. Uh, the burn and stuff, don't worry about that. I will explain that as it comes into it. Your kinetic blast can strike any target within 50 feet instead of 30. So it's great for pulling and it's great for like pulling the ledger screen and um, getting the jump on enemies. Um Damn this silly thing. Hey, have a look. That's too This no. will hurt. Yeah, that's me, pragmatic. Um Cat neutral, cat of good. Cat of good, I think. Oh. Jelly blobs. I said just jelly blobs, I think. I'm wounded. Are you now? Good for you. It's pretty crappy, but other people will fill in the gaps. Now, I did try this before, it didn't crash. It's just the old save game, same version and everything. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here.
Hello, Lindsay. Where are they? This is taking forever. It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway? Rich folk? Yeah, probably. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Shut up, Tatsu Joe. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Is it just the way they're walking? Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Rustal. Welcome to my mansion. If you want to read the uh, pop-up text, pause. Okay. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. The mayor, a middle-aged man with bushy sideburns and monocle, wears a beaming smile. One thing I did notice in the, um, when I was looking at the previous season of uh, recordings for this, the sound was terrible. Uh, the microphone I had in the headset was picking up nothing but, um, my PC fans taken off like aeroplanes. So I've got a new microphone now and different filters on it. So hopefully the sound is a lot better of my voice. That's still crap. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevois border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory. And while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the stolen lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restal would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? It's a whole team of us. Who exactly will receive the Baron's title? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Shut up, Tartuccio. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. Joandi clears her throat loudly, interrupting the argument. She takes a long pause, waiting for the voices to die down, as everyone directs their attention toward her. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Everybody gets a prize. Expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Why not just recognize this stag lord as a baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many Ooh. celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> That's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. 
The Sword Lord's gaze is chilling as she responds. To help us found a barony, what do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? A tiefling girl stands nearby. Oh, I didn't know. Forgot she was in this. Um, standing nearby, speaking in a hushed voice. Noticing you've heard her comment, she winks at you coyly. What rewards can we expect? Exactly. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? The Lord Mayor's eyebrows, eyebrows rise so far he almost dropped his monocle. Well, we're not all born with a silver spoon in our mouth. Of what you are, Sarkiwa, so shut up. We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Um, I always forget about all the bloody different... Politics and Brevoy. Words, words, significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Yep. Significant. Doesn't pay the rent. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Are oh, you going to pay me with exposure, are you? Uh huh. Now you're talking. It's a clear as day. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Um, excuse me. I'm a famous influencer. I better have my own room. Thank you again. With all my heart for replying to this call, the flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. That guy talked like this all the time. Oh my god. Yeah, sure will. Just wait. Got plenty of great feats in store. <laughs> I have no doubt. Kind of related. I wanted to ask you something. Feats. I mean, those things at the bottom of your legs. I collect them. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This, this is the person I'll write my book about. Lindsay blushes a little. Wait, a book? Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Exactly. And then I thought, I could 
be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or, gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. Well, about that barbarian. She looks pretty heroic. I think her name's a Mibi. Oh, yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. But, I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right, I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. I really hate people like that, who you've never met before, I just walk up to you and just start talking utter shite constantly. Ah, right, that's what I wanted this for. Camera movement. Where is it? Is that broken or something? I don't know. Yeah. It options. Uh, this does camera movement somehow. Confirm. Okay. Ugh. Tools. Camera tools. Camera rotation. There we go. Was Q and E, wasn't it? Options, controls. Ah, oh, right. Common period. Common period. Okay. Right. I think I changed it my other one, so it's these two. Hey, here we go. Oh, it jumps quite a bit. I thought it jumped there instead of here, which was the camera for the scene. Okay. Keston Gares. I'll double the guard for the night, just as a precaution. Keston rest before the road. You have a difficult journey before you. Jator, Tartusha's fucking off, good. What game is Jamandi playing? I'm not used to feeling like a pawn. How about a pawn? I used to Q and E to rotate, I might have changed that. But Q and E are here. What are you going back there for? Or just get back on? Large map of Bravoy's surroundings dotted with numerous cryptic marks and notes. Oh, it's weird having this. It's like playing an old 80s game. Two hands on the keyboard. But. Having it, no, I'm going to have to change it. Going to have to change it. Q. E. There you go. Just like in a rogue trader. Have him. This expedition is surely doomed. I'm sure it is. Oh, it's still one of those. Okay. Options. Get rid of Q and E from here. Music. Actually, well, 13. Unbind. Unbind. Save. 
that's better. It's not because of the click clicks, there was little uh, flashes of um, light coming up there for... Oh, Casey. The Northern Archer is beautiful but very heavy. My native land of Kadira, palaces are furnished quite differently. Is that the right way? Hmm. So I want to replace the... Yeah, I'm going to swap them over. That's how my brain works. Yep. Right, let's leave. Lindsay bursts into your room. She looks scared. Her face is smeared with soot. She holds the weapon in her hands. What's going on? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Oh, but I'm already in my pajamas. As if to lend credence to Lindsay's word, a scream echoes from the hallway. Oh, look, a naughty boy. We will be victorious. Okay, so that is burn. Come into that for a moment. This is your burn meter. The first level, a kinetics can overexert itself to channel more power than normal. Pushing past the limit of what is safe for her body by accepting burn. Some of her talents allow her to accept burn in exchange for a greater effect. That's these here. Okay. While others acquire her to accept a certain amount of burn to use that talent at all. For each point of burn she accept, connects to sticks one point of non-lethal damage per counter level. This damage can't be healed by any means other than getting a full night's rest, which removes all burn and associated non-lethal damage. Non-lethal damage from burn can't be reduced or redirected, and a kinetic incapable of taking non-lethal damage can't accept burn. Can only accept one point of burn per round. This limit raises to two at sixth level, and raised by one additional point every three levels after. Kinetics can't choose to accept burn if a put a total number of points of burn higher than three plus a constitution modifier. Though she can be forced to accept more burn from a source outside her control. A kinetist who has accepted burn never benefits from abilities allowed to ignore or alter the effects she receives from non-lethal damage. Okay, so this is Fire Blast. It's got a burn of zero down there. That's fine. I mean, you have to worry about this. Um, it's a simple blast. And if I do this, it's not that. It, it doesn't show you the actual bloody damage, does it? Okay. So, attack him with that. If I right click it, you got a fire blast there. I can have one burn. This is the uh, standard thing, right? A fire blast is like normal. 2 to 7 damage, that's better. The 6 plus 1. Fire damage. Um, I go to a flicker and flame to burn a single foe. That's fine. Um, but this is a physical, is it? What's it? Is that, is it a, the blast type, it's energy or physical, I think. Have a look at you. Should do it. No, no. Why? Look at you. Oh, I not expected you. Okay. Um, energy types are touch AC, but ranged touch, which is usually a low armor class. 
physical ones are normal armor class. You have to be to hit them. Extended range goes up to 50 feet and it adds one burn. Now I can reduce that by doing this. So I don't move and reduce the amount of burn. See, that's gone to zero now. And as I'm not moving, I can still act this turn. So. Just make that automatic by right clicking on it. That's there. And I'll get a burn, but save a burn. And that's how it works. So let's unpause. Why are you running in, you fucking idiot? Thirteen damage. Why did we get thirteen damage? Don't know why I got an armed bloody strike there. I nearly hit him as well. Um Attack of Opportunity, which I will get some in melee combat casting. Oh, I got a critical. Well done, that 20. Okay. Plus one for point blank shot, plus four for my dexterity. Because it is a um, ranged weapon kind of thing. I can see that at the bottom, armor class 7, touch, because it's fire. And d6 plus 2 times 2. Oh, it's 2d6 plus 2. So I must have rolled really well then. 5 and a 6 plus 2. Nice. So that's how kinetics kind of work. And you can get different. Like this is just fire. I'm going to go into earth. And then you get something called a combined. Or whatever. Combination. Combination word it is. So fire and earth will become magma, which does double damage. But that becomes a physical thing, because earth is a physical element, so to speak. So I'll turn that off, because that's annoying me. The inspection thing. Left all. Um, could wear that. Makes no difference. Might as well have that in case I do run into stupid attacks. Whoop, out tabbed by my stake. There. No loots. I oh, know, I know, there's a fight going, but shush. Everything. And it's time. And a time for everything. The assassins are already here. Follow me quickly. No. Longbow, dagger, the stone, and crap. You're still. Oh, you're dead. There's blood everywhere. Okay. Sucks to be you. I know the way. Another dead one. Am I already overloaded? Oh god, I am, just with that. Three pounds, fifteen pounds. Ugh, okay. That's the thing about having crap strength, I guess. Oh, well, Lindsay will join me soon. And then she could be the pack mule. Lindsay, the pack mule, imagine. Um, there is a lot of reading here, so... Let's have a look. The Curse of Ancient Iobaria by Hastef Ume. Tell us, O oh teacher, why would Breve call us barbarians of the book givers? The gods became angry with our homeland, my son. This land has devoured so many great empires. As if it was unwilling to bear life, 
There are centuries old ruins around our settlement. They were ravaged by a star that fell from the sky. The kingdom of the Cyclops was the or Cyclopes. Cyclops was the first victim of its curse. Hang on. New settlers claimed this land ten centuries later to establish a beautiful country named Iobario. It stretched from the Lake of Mist and the Vales Lake of Mist and Vales to the Castrovian Sea. But the curse still lay upon these lands and trouble came again. Our ancestors suffered numerous maladies, the tear plague, the char death, the choking death, one after another, leaving only pain behind. People say that Artip the necromancer was to blame, but who knows? A great civilization was turned to dust. That is why I'm teaching you, Ravoy shouldn't make fun of you or call you barbarians. Okay. Actually, I don't need I can drop this here. And that's 31 minutes, so I will end this episode here. It's just a quick start, a counted generation, brief overview of the kineticist, and to start off the um Why has that gone to there? Maybe because I'm not in combat. I don't really need it at the moment, but I'll just explain to you how it works. Um, yeah, so it's just a brief, brief overview of the Kineticist and how it works. So that'll be it for this episode. I will be restarting doing it all again, I know. It was only last year, six months ago, eight months ago I started it, but oh well. What can you do when the safe bit of fire gets corrupted? Thanks for watching, and I hope to see more of you, and see you again in the next episode. Bye for now.